One of the things that I find really interesting in my work over the past 15 plus years are the amount of adults that I run into who are completely unaware of how their words and actions affect others. Or worse, they are aware and they don't care. You see, and you know this far better than I do, if you are in information security, information technology, certainly an audit or risk or governance, you have to be able to build relationships. You have to be able to communicate with someone in a way that's meaningful. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm starting with the word kindness first. The question, is it kind? I'm showing you an empty room for a reason <sighs> because I have to, um, because I learned about the power of kindness from my mom. My mom lives in the Southern part of the United States. <laughs> well, we grew up in the Southern part of the United States, um, Mississippi, Natchez, Mississippi, in case you're curious. And <laughs> if you're not familiar with like the Southern United States accent, I can kind of do it pretty well by now. My mom gave me the very first lesson in kindness that I've ever heard. My mom, I'm 47 years old, okay? So I can do my mom's accent pretty well by now. Um, my mom pulled me aside when I was little and she said, baby, that's <laughs> how so my mom talks, she's so cute. She said, baby, there's two types of people in this world, baby. The ones who make you feel good as soon as they walk into the room and the ones who make you feel good as soon as they walk out of it. Like, oh, <laughs> mama's right, Isaka. Stop playing with me. You know this is true. It's already potentially stress-inducing for people when an audit professional walks into a room, hypothetically speaking. You know, So we want to make sure that we bring the energy that we want people to be excited when we walk into the room, regardless of what we're doing. And that's from building relationships. That's why you have to start with kindness. 